Body World's exhibitions have been seen by more than 42 million people around the world and now it can be found in the heart of Josie. Over the years it has caused quite the stir so I'm here to find out exactly what all the talk is about and what lies under your skin. So I was walking around being amazed by what I'm seeing around me and I thought I need to find someone who can tell me exactly how this process worked and what exactly we are seeing here today. So I stumbled across the Doze Peterson who is the exhibition manager at Body World's Vital. Welcome to Edge. Thanks for having me. Working here every day, everything must seem new, right? Yes, I mean every day you come in there's something new that you spot that catches your eye and that you just have to read about. I mean it's an amazing exhibition. Um, it's seen by over 40 million viewers and visitors worldwide. So we're walking around and I've seen this word plastination yes. and in my mind I think plastic. Am I right along the same lines You're here? more or less on the right track. What the plastination process involves is so once the body donor uh, passes away, um, it's the body is then taken to the uh, laboratory in Germany. Um, it then undergoes a whole process where the body is then first the decomposing um, stage needs to uh, be halted. Mm. How they do that is by uh, putting the body in formalin. That gets put into every cell. Next, uh, it's the, the all the water and the bodily fats are then um, stripped away from the body, leaving just sort of your muscles and your ligaments and your tendons. Wow. That then goes through another process where it's injected with a, a reactive polymer uh, such as silicone. Or rubber that goes into the body which then and then they um, harden this and then pose the body in the different um, poses that they want to put it in and harden this and the whole process takes up to 1,500 hours so you can imagine how long it takes to set up an exhibition of this size. So you speak a lot about the people who are here yes. so what is the objective and how do they get to the process of being displayed at the exhibition? Well the, there is a, a body donor program that has been set up over the years uh, it's actually been stopped at the moment because mm -hmm. just the amount of people who have uh, taken interest uh, in, in donating their bodies as in people signing up signing up and signing over their bodies to be displayed in an exhibition such as this wow everybody wants to be famous wherever you can eh? <laughs> exactly <laughs> even if it's in body walls <laughs> okay and the objective that you guys are trying to get across here for people visiting the exhibition well the name the theme of this exhibition is called body walls vital um, it focuses on healthy living versus unhealthy living mm. and how our lifestyle choices impact uh, our organs and our bodies and yeah it's just to promote a healthier way of living also to encourage people to take uh, an interest in how their body works and yeah just uh, in anatomical and physiology. Wow so who's Body World's vital for? Who's the ideal market besides obviously children coming from school to learn? Yeah. I would say it's anyone who's interested in being healthy, people who've had surgery. I mean, in here you can see how a hip uh, prosthesis looks like. Mm. So it's people who've had surgery, people who've had heart disease, uh, athletes. You can see where your Achilles tendons and where all your muscles are. Guy, buff guys who go to the gym, you want to know how to get your muscles mm. all toned and all that. Yeah, so I, mean, I would say it's for every everyone. Buff guys at gym, all I do is I eat cake, <laughs> but hey, <laughs> that's fine, right? <laughs> exactly. Want <laughs> to see how the stomach works. <laughs> <laughs> so, your favorite display here, what would it be and why? I, ca I really can't choose one. I mean, every one of them it gives you a different insight into the body. It shows you different muscles. Some of them will show you uh, your organs and how they work um, in connection with other systems in your body, such as the respiratory system. So it's just all interconnected. So to choose one, it's it's very difficult. For those, I've only seen a little bit of this, and I know the CPR is one of my favorites, but I'm sure there's so much more to see. There's so much more to see. Let me show you around. Okay, following you. Sure. Cup. We'll be back after the break with an amazing journey of discovery where you'll see yourself as never before, guaranteed. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Edge here with myself, Leroy, and as you can see, I'm closely examining what's in this glass cabinet. It's everything under your skin, literally. 
It's amazing, that's all I can say. Oh, you're creeping up on me. Why are you having a look at you? Don't worry, I wasn't touching the glass, okay? <laughs> As you can see, this, I was like elbowing on it. But this is amazing. What is this? This yeah. is a leg. Well, what we've got here, that's your. That's a full leg. I mean, everything's been stripped away. You just see the muscles. Uh, on this side, we've got the full arm. What we're looking at here is all the muscles have been exposed. Everything's pulled away. You're able to see how all the nerve fibers connect to your hand and how the nerves in conjunction with all your muscles bring about movements of your fingers and your arms. No man, a hand looks so scary when it's all in this position. <laughs> I just I mean, cut open there for me to see. For me, that's like, that's art. Where do you get to see an arm done like this? Only at Body World's Vital. I'm joking. <laughs> What we've got here is the basketball player. Uh, what you can see is his, everything's been pulled away. All that's visible is his muscles. Um, and this shows the mod modeling muscles of the human body. Uh, all the intestines, everything inside has been taken away so you can get a good idea of what external muscles look like as well as your inner muscles that you don't even see and don't even know you're using when you're doing sports. Uh, this uh, particular exhibit piece, you can see he was quite an um, athletic dude. Mm. Uh, his, his leg muscles are quite built up. The arm muscles are quite built up as well. What it also shows is that when you do exercise, your muscles expand compared to a normal guy who just does his, doesn't do any exercise during the day. You know that saying, inside my brain? Yeah. You could literally see. You can inside literally see his inside his brain. What they're trying to depict is as well is that the brain is the center of control of the muscles. Okay. So yeah, that's your that's where all your movements are coming from. Admit you just want to like poke his brain because it just looks so squishy. It does look squishy, it's hey. Much squ no, 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 we'll stop there. <laughs> Fidoz, you spoke about this earlier, the chess player. Yes. Why is this an important display? Well, this is a more artistic display. It shows a person in deep thought. Mm. Um, what we can see here is how the central nervous system works and how everything, namely the brain, the spinal cord, and if you come around this way, you'll see all the oh, nerves wow. and how they are all joined together to form the delicate uh, nervous system and how that brings about coordinated thought and motion when, for example, playing a game of chess. There is no doubt that if I had to be in that position, that's exactly what I would look like because I'm so short. So that's my spine right there. Well, Lira, that's spot on. I mean, this dude right here, he's of average height. So, I mean, and if we had to cut open our backs like that, you'd see our intricate nervous, dis uh, nervous system display. So, yeah, that's how you would look. That's the first. I always <laughs> thought I was short. What's next? Let's go and see. <laughs> But it was from the beginning, when I walked in, this one caught my eye. Yeah. I don't know if it's because of the red or it's because of this, I don't know, it just, it's weird. This, what is this? Well, this plastin, it shows us our artery and the intricate um, blood vessel supply throughout our body. Okay. Uh, you can see, the, these show the major arteries. You can see, I mean, you know when you blush, you turn bright red. Yes. And I mean, you can yeah. see that from the amount of blood vessels around your cheek and how they fall through your eyelids and all that. And then also your organs need all that blood and oxygen to be traveling around them in order to keep them alive and working. So, I mean, this makes perfect sense. You can see the, where the red is mm. is where the most um, blood supply leads to the body. Interesting to see the feet have a lot as well. Yes, exactly. So, I mean, the, those are all the parts of motion so and that you use often for, for, that you use the most, your hands and your feet during the day. That makes sense so because when you're why. pushing your hand, you're pushing the blood away and you, the colour formation comes back exactly. again. Exactly. Also, it links in with your nervous system. Your, oh. your feet and your hands are the part that come into contact with your surroundings. So that's where they need all that um, oxygen and blood supply and is, to keep it all going. And this is when I rub my ear, it becomes so red <laughs> because that explains it. Exactly. <laughs> also, Lero, did you know that if you stretch your blood vessels end to end and lay them out, they stretch 96,500 kilometers in a normal adult. So that means it would go about, let's say, twice around the Earth. Okay, so for us, short people. For us short Is people, maybe same? about once or so, <laughs> but in a normal adult, it would go, it would stretch twice around the earth. Can okay, you imagine that? So maybe you out there would be the normal adult, but for us, we're fine with just taking <laughs> once around the earth. <laughs> Very interesting to note.
I'm standing alongside Angelique, who I literally pulled away from her school group. And I just had to find out, what do you think about Body Worlds? It's amazing. Really, it's amazing. You're just blown away? Blown away, it's fantastic. The whole exhibition is fantastic. I'm completely amazed by what's around me. Your first reaction to seeing these bodies in their natural form over here, what went through your mind? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> just to think how a person can be the skin can be taken off and to be posed in different position in every single exhibition. It's crazy, really. So Angelique, uh, I've got to ask you, did you uh, take a selfie with uh, one of these? Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, we're not this allowed. This day and age, no selfies? <laughs> no, I do take selfies, but not here, unfortunately not. All right, so one of the things you would take away from Body World's exhibition? Time. 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 You need so much more time to go through the whole exhibition to take a look at every single detail. That's the only thing I would take away. And on that note though, would you uh, ever want to be uh, put into one of these situations? No. No? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and mine. Okay, okay, okay. We'll end it just there. It's all hers. <laughs> Body World's Vital will be at the Cyberna Discovery Center in Johannesburg until the 19th of June and then in Cape Town at the VNA Waterfront from the 9th of August to the 23rd of October.